Uh, we are out here on the East Beltline and we're just south of Piedmont Park. And one of the things I want to talk to you about is the study that we're doing along this alignment. As you can see behind me, there's plenty of grass area where this train is going to run right where I'm standing now with the trail next to it. But as we transition going to the north, essentially you can see the trail does a shift into the tunnel. That gets in the way of where the future trains are going. And so in order to do a safe combination of the two trails and rails, we're going to have to do some modifications to this. So this pinch point is one of example of one of many along the alignment that we need to look at and make sure that we have uh, understanding what's going forward. So that's what the study is all about and hopefully we'll get things moving soon. There have been lots of studies, but each study has got different purposes in mind and different limits of what they're studying, where they're studying. Uh, the original EIS studied the whole belt line, but it only goes so deep. It's kind of a, a, a higher level study. There have been some analysis done for certain portions um, that have a deeper dive, but those studies didn't include the most complicated places. So we're gonna validate what has been studied. So we're not gonna restudy what we don't need to restudy, but we're gonna validate any changes. We're gonna make sure that's accurate, make sure there's any gaps there or information that we need. And then the pieces that haven't been studied in detail will include those as well. It's very important to have the full picture. Again, there's been a lot of great technical work done over the years on the Beltline and Transit. Um, so we're gonna utilize that, build on that. Well, cost is the, the big driver, right? And we want to make sure that we identify, a, a, do some value engineering to bring solutions that we can actually afford. We want to get this done as quickly as possible, but we want to do it in a way to leverage federal dollars, uh, meet all the federal requirements, and make sure that the project is safe. For connectivity to the transit station up in Lindbergh, there's a gray area, a transit gray area gaps that we're going to try to look at. And make sure there's no other ones that have fatal flaws in it, or if there's funding impl impl implications to actually getting to work. It has to work. It has to connect to the heavy rail, to the train stations, and how it does that is really important, and getting that right is basically the next step.